So I will apologize in advance if registration seems, seems long or the lines are long. Uh, we've put in place a specific section of the alphabet that was very purposeful. We actually counted the number of, of individuals that were within each bandwidth. And so I'll remind the board, I'll remind the community, please show up on the designated time that you are assigned uh, because it is very purposeful. And if you cannot make it, we have a makeup date that we've added. And so keep in mind that this, this whole process in itself has budgetary constraints too that are in the budget. And so we're trying to stay within the context of residency, stay within the context of our budget, but more importantly, assure that the people that are attending our schools do belong in the district. And so um, I want to apologize in advance for any inconveniences uh, that may come to fruition during the days of registration or leading up to the beginning of school year. Any second? Uh, they're intertwined, registration and residency. All right. All right. Any questions for Dr. Miller? Great, thank you. Uh, board committee, board policy and development, two things. Uh, if you go on to our website, our board policies are online now. Uh, so feel free to go and read them again. Um, the second thing that we do have on the agenda is the administrative procedures. Now that we have up to date and policies that are in compliance, we need to make sure that our, our administrative procedures are in line with our board policies. Building the grounds. Mike and I uh, met on uh, July 11th with um, Norwich Schools Foundation and the architect uh, STR. Um, the new foundation is anxiously um, underway in raising monies for safety and security issues in both of our buildings. We talked at length about securing the entryways to both schools. So that was kind of the gist of our conversation on 7-Eleven and then there's some uh, follow-up uh, work that our architect will be doing and getting back to us so we can schedule a follow-up meeting with the group and discuss costs and designs of the new secure entryways at both Lee and at Giles. And we do have in the budget plan for the new phone systems and the uh, fire alarm system or smoke detector system over at Giles. So that's already in the budget plan for this year. So hopefully things will move along a little smoother and we'll get that taken care of. Other than that, just normal summer work that our custodial staff is going through, cleaning, <coughs> maintaining the outside <coughs> of our buildings, and just uh, moving uh, the new teachers in and moving some other existing teachers around. So. Um, that's it from the Buildings and Grounds Committee. You know, you know talking about security, uh, Chief Disselberg just reached out to uh, Dr. O'Malley. There is a grant um, that we're going to be applying Thank along with me. the village to help get some of the security stuff um, on that list. So I know the administration team today has been a, a big portion of their time trying to uh, see what things on that list we could add to this grant to see if uh, if we get any monies from that. Want to fill in any more if you feel yeah. like so, so, so you know, that's it. You know, Chief Disselhorst and Dr. O'Malley and have uh, stayed in constant communication trying to, you know, safety is their number one priority for the, the schools and, and they are working towards trying to make that better. Thank you. Communications? We don't have anything to report out, although we will be scheduling a meeting very soon. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. Finance? Ms. Stafford? Yeah, yes. Uh, so I'm requesting that we give Dr. O'Malley the uh, go ahead to post our budget so we can comply with the 30 day rule with the state um, and then have it put on the uh, next meeting, uh, <coughs> a special meeting, I guess August 14th, so that we can vote to adopt it. <coughs> so just to clarify, what, what Frank is, is alluding to is we are. Uh, giving permission for Dr. O'Malley to request a special meeting of August 14th and at that meeting you will post a tentative budget which we're required to do for 30 days prior to its adoption to meet the, the state requirement. Okay, So the August 14th was requested by Dr. Schilling and uh, we'll post it and so at the September meeting we will, as we've done in the past, uh, we will adopt our budget. Thanks for clarifying. Very good. So, so everyone mark your calendars for 
August 14th at 7 p.m. 7 7 mm -hmm. here at the here here at the school in the and we'll figure out where so so And also under finance, uh, we had posted uh, to ask for more community members to be part of the finance committee uh, that was posted. We received four applications, conducted three interviews, um, and after the interviews, uh, we have two candidates that uh, we were asking the board to approve to join the current members. This is not a removal of any of the, the previous members. These are in addition to the current community members that are on the <coughs> finance committee and the people that, that we have selected are Frank Tribuzio and Art Rusak. Before we approve them, I, I have a question. Um, there, there were other community members, um, Molly Duck, who you know had a, a um, she really wanted to be on this committee, and especially had the county background. Is there is there you know is there a reason why we're not um, adding her also on onto the committee? Uh, yes, uh, I uh, contacted Molly um, uh, about the meeting today, and for personal reasons, uh, she said that she wasn't able to accept. Uh, due to the interview and the resume, um, I left it open that, that uh, if things change around and she's able to be part of the committee and dedicate the time to please come back and contact us. And at that time, uh, we would, me and Frank agreed that we would ask the board to uh, please allow her to come on. Those personal okay. reasons and we wanted to leave it open due to how well the resume and the interview went. Great. Okay. Thank you. So, we, um, so the, the way it works is the board president appoints. So I would appoint, um, you know, Frank Tribuzio and Eric Ruzak to the finance committee. All in favor say aye. All opposed say nay. Aye. 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 Motion carries. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> Negotiations. <laughs> so I, um, I'm basically taking that on behalf of the board. Uh, I reached out to the association on some dates that they were available to start the negotiation process. Uh, I shared those with Dr. Schilling, and uh, apparently there is a conflict of interest. So I'm going to. You mean a conflict of schedule? Conflict of scheduling. Thank you. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Conflict of Very scheduling. A uh, conflict in the scheduling. So I'm going to reach back out to the association and look so, for some other dates that they would be available, as well as Dr. Schilling. So I will report back to the board. Is there any dates in September that uh, Dr. Schilling is available? Uh, Dr. Schilling was not available in September. He said all of October he was free. I see. Okay. Back then I misunderstood. I, I talked to um, Trish, um, she returned my call in the sense to see if there's any other dates earlier. I thought maybe September was an option. You should have sent me an email. So, I will, so based on what I'm hearing right now, I will reach back out to Dr. Schilling and see what his availability is. And then Great. I'll report back to the board. Great. Thank okay. you. Old business. So um, just one, just to remind everyone again, the, the uh, four policies are online now. So any new business? Yes. Michael. I missed, you missed uh, not on there. But uh, for uh, the West Cook meeting we had on June 20th. Right? Yes, go ahead. So the, the, we're planning a breakfast for Senators, Congress, and Cook County Board uh, President and Cook, Cook County Board members. And that'll be Saturday, uh, September 22nd. 8.30 to 10.30. They have not exactly picked, it should be at Leiden. They were gonna confirm that, so I'll keep you updated on that. The fall dinner is at Elmcrest. They decided to split it, one school, one, one, uh, one dinner, complete dinner over at Elmcrest, and you'll get your, your awards for your classes that you've taken or should be taken to fulfill your uh, requirements. And that's October 4th and March 7th at uh, Schiller Park Lincoln School will be the spring dinner at the school. Okay. So, great. Thank yeah. you, Michael. Sorry that I took that off the agenda that we're in. Yeah, I go to those things. Yeah. Uh, yeah I might thank as well you. Get credit for it, huh? Public participation. 
Sarah? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You missed board comment. I'm sorry, did I? Sorry, board comments. Yes, I have two comments. Um, firstly, as we move forward um, with the great uh, involvement of the community, just a reminder to everybody that's here to please reach out. That even with the Save the Band and the enormous money that they made, that the program's future is going to ride on participation. So please keep the word out there that this does come at, with the signups and the fees in order to keep this going. Uh, secondly, community response again, uh, Norwich Education Foundation, uh, first fundraiser out there. I don't have any totals, uh, but presence in the community, community involvement, signs up all over Island in the City Fest. Uh, as I said before, it's needed from the community and, and there's great people out there that are really pushing for the schools and, and thank you for all you do and, and look forward to helping with, with the next uh, Norge Education Foundation event that's gonna come up. That's it. Okay. At each regular or special meeting, which is open to the public, the Illinois School Code and Board Policy requires that members of the public and board employees be afforded time to commit or ask questions, time or ask questions. The board's agenda designates this portion of the meeting to recognize those visitors and provide an opportunity for comments or to ask questions. The board asks the speakers to identify themselves and limit comments or questions to no more than five minutes. The five minutes may be shortened if the president must conserve time to give the maximum number of individuals an opportunity to speak. The speakers are reminded to conduct themselves with respect and facility towards others. The board also requests that speakers refrain from identifying individual students or staff. Speakers who choose to identify specific students or staff do so at their own risk. Please keep in mind that the opportunity to engage in public comment at a school board meeting does not insulate speakers from reliable or violations of privacy. Lastly, if someone wishes to present an unresolved complaint to the board, the board requests that you contact Dr. O'Malley. Thank you. And now the board looks forward to your questions and comments. Our I just said a real quick question. On the grant that was talked about in the security, what was, uh, what was the dollar amount? They didn't put anything on it. That's to be determined. It's to be determined. So, so we were going. To, the administration team were, is putting on whatever we can under that secure, like cameras and you know everything that on that little punch list that we, we, we talked about at the buildings and grounds. We'll try to be put on there, and then you know let's see what they come back and give us. So we're going to ask for everything that we can, but we don't know if it's a match yet or what. You know, it just came out. You know, Chief Disor contacted Dr. O'Malley. And, and so this is what I need, and, and so we're starting to work on it. So there is no dollar amount yet um, determined by the state yet. Okay, so the state of Illinois, and is there like a date that they're going to make a decision on? The I, I would assume so. It's due July 30th. Yeah. Couldn't tell you, couldn't tell you when it's going to be decided. Go ahead. Great, thank you. thank you. Discussion. Need a motion to approve the consent agenda? No motion. Discussion. No, second. Okay. Second. Yeah, Roll call, please. Mr. Stoffel? Yes. Mr. Biondo? Yes. Mr. Pagilio? Yes. Mr. Galvador? Yes. Mrs. Coletta? Yes. Mr. Asaya? Yes. Mr. Watson? Yes. Motion approved. We can set agenda. Discussion. The motion to adjourn to closed session discuss the appointment, employment, competition, disability, performance, dismissal of specific employees, possible litigation, and a semi annual review of closed <clears throat> session minutes. No motion? I'll second. Okay. Discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Ludson? Yes. Mr. Stoffel? Yes. Mrs. Poletti? Yes. Mr. Asaida? Yes. Mr. Biondo? Yes. Mr. Bellafior? Yes. Mr. DiGiulio? Yes. Motion approved to go to closed session at 743. We'll take a three-minute break and be in the future long.